Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we will be talking about the diversity techniques seen in antennas and what you mean by diversity. So what do you actually mean by diversity? Well, let's find out. So in a typical communication system, we know that we have a transmitter antenna and a receiver antenna. So let this be a transmitter antenna and let this be a receiver antenna. So if a person has to send some kind of an information from the transmitter to the receiver, then it will be sent through either of the wireless communication techniques. That is either it will be sent through a line of set communication technique or through ionospheric propagation or through tropospheric propagation. So using either of these techniques, the information is transmitted to the receiver. Okay. So let us assume that this particular person has sent one particular information to a receiver like this through this particular wireless communication channel. Okay, but here what we observe is that if something happens to this particular wireless communication channel, that is if this wireless communication channel gets broken at over here, if something happens here, then what we observe is that the signal will not be received at the receiver that is we will lose this particular signal and therefore the particular information that was intended to transmit by the transmitter would get lost and will not be received at the receiver. So in order to overcome this problem this is why we use diversity. So diversity is a technique through which the same information is transmitted by the transmitter to the receiver through multiple wireless communication channels. So if this is one channel, then it might be sent through another channel like this. Or it might be sent through another channel like this. Or it might be sent through another channel like this. So here the same information, the same information is sent by the transmitter to the receiver through multiple channels. This is what you refer to as diversity. So here if either one of this channel, for example, let us assume that something happened to this channel over here. Let us assume that this channel gets subject to some kind of fading. Then whatever losses were happening at this channel can be compensated by either this channel or this channel or this channel because they are all carrying the same information. This is simply what we refer to as diversity. That is the definition is given as it is a method of improving the reliability of a particular signal by using two or more communication channels which has got different characteristics. So here each of these channels has got different characteristics. So therefore, under one particular condition, only one of these particular channels will be affected. The other channel, there won't be any problem with the other channel. So therefore, the receiver is provided with multiple copies of a particular information which is transmitted over two or more signals. So therefore, if I am standing here and if I am sending the information, my name is Rishi. I am sending the information, my name is Rishi. So the information, my name is Rishi is sent through this channel. The same information, my name is Rishi, is also sent through this channel. The same information, my name is Rishi, is sent through this channel. And the same information, my name is Rishi, is sent through this channel. So the same information is sent through all the channels and therefore the receiver is provided with a number of copies of the same information. That is the information given my name is Rishi. So multiple copies of that particular information is received at the receiver through various channels. So therefore if either one of these channels undergoes some kind of a fading, it can be compensated with the other channels which has got the strongest signal. Thus the basic idea idea of diversity is repetition or redundancy of data. So now this is what we refer to as diversity but now there are different diversity techniques. So let's see what the different types of diversity techniques are. So the first diversity technique is frequency diversity. So here when a particular transmitter antenna has to send a particular information to a particular receiver antenna, what we observe is that the same information is transmitted from the transmitter antenna to a receiver antenna through multiple channels which has got different carrier frequencies. That is the carrier frequency of this channel say channel 1 would be different from the carrier frequency of this channel that is channel 2. That is maybe this channel would have a high carrier frequency whereas this channel might have a low carrier frequency. So here the same information the same information is sent through these two channels. This is what we simply refer to as frequency diversity. So here the frequency difference between these two channels must be at least 
equal to the coherent bandwidth. So coherent bandwidth is simply the bandwidth with which when a particular signal is transmitted, the distortion becomes evident at the receiver. So that particular bandwidth is referred to as coherent bandwidth. So therefore, the difference between the frequencies of these two channels must be at least equal to the coherent bandwidth. This is what we refer to as frequency diversity. Next, what we have is referred to as time diversity. So here, if a particular transmitter antenna has to send a particular information to a particular receiver antenna, here the information signal is transmitted repeatedly in time at regular time intervals. That is, first this information would be sent like this. Okay, that was at a time T1. And now, after a particular time period, say at T2, the same information would be sent again. And at T3, the same information would be sent again. That is, it is sent repeatedly at time, at regular time intervals. The time interval between these two are regular. So, at regular time intervals, the same information is being sent by the transmitter to the receiver at different periods of time. This is what we refer to as time diversity. So here the requirement is that the separation between these transmit time must be greater than the coherent time. So coherent time is simply the time duration of a signal when the distortion becomes evident or noticeable at the receiver. So that is what you refer to as coherent time. So the separation between these transmit times must be greater than the coherent time. So this is what we refer to as time diversity. Next we have what we refer to as polarization diversity. So a particular electromagnetic radio wave will have an electric field and a magnetic field. We know that. It has got two fields, an electric field and a magnetic field. So in the case of polarization diversity, what we do is that the electric and magnetic field of a particular signal are modified and different types of such signals are sent through different channels. That is what you simply refer to as polarization diversity. Now, the next type of diversity technique that we see is space diversity. So, space diversity is achieved by using multiple number of antennas at the receiver side. So, by using multiple number of antennas at the receiver side, we achieve space diversity. So, here at the receiver side, we have multiple number of antenna elements like this. So, here these are three different antennas. Okay. So, at the transmitter side, it might either be having one antenna and at the transmitter side also, there might be multiple number of antennas. So, here from the transmitter side, this transmitter antenna will send the same information to all the three antennas like this. So, therefore, here at all the three antennas, the same information that is sent by the transmitter has been received over here. This is what we refer to as space diversity. That is the diversity technique that we have achieved by using a number of antennas or more than one antennas at the receiver. That is what we refer to as space diversity. So even inside space diversity, there are different subdivisions. So first is selection diversity. So in selection diversity, what happens is that it has got m number of branches which has got signals which are received to it. Okay. So here the signal which has got the highest SNR, that is the signal which has got the highest signal to noise ratio will be selected at the receiver and that will be used by the receiver. That is what we refer to as selection diversity. That is selecting the path which has got the highest signal to noise ratio. The next kind of diversity is feedback or scanning diversity. So in this kind of diversity technique, instead of using the best of these M transmitted signals, what, what it does is that it keeps scanning each of these antennas in a particular sequence and a particular threshold level as being set by this. So while these antennas are being scanned, if the signal received by either one of these antenna is found to be greater than that threshold value, then that signal would be taken by the receiver. As simple as that. So if let us assume that this particular receiver antenna is scanning all the three antennas. First it is scanning this antenna and the signal is found to be below the threshold value. Then it will try scan this antenna, but when it scans this antenna, it has found that the signal value is greater than the threshold value, then it will use this antenna until the signal falling here falls below the threshold value. And once it falls below the threshold value, and again the scanning process will happen. And again it will choose the receiver antenna, which has got the signal above the threshold value that is fixed by the receiver. That is what we refer to as feedback or scanning diversity. So guys, this does is basically what we refer to as diversity. So here in this video, we saw what diversity is. And we also saw what the various diversity techniques are. 
I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you mean by diversity and the various diversity techniques and we will be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.